Hello everyone, Mark here. Welcome back to my garage. So, in the the uh, previous video, as you saw, I was working on uh, the uh, toilet seat hinge, <laughs> trying to make that. Now, um, I don't know if any of you follow me on Facebook, um, I did post a little update there showing a more finished product. It's because a friend of my friend, who is four, came round um, and he wanted to give a hand doing it because he wanted it a few modifications made <laughs> so uh, <laughs> scribbled quite a bit all over the drawing uh, with loads of different dimensions but we are getting there there we go now it's almost done this prototype the only thing I've got left to do is I've got to make this hole here square at this six millimeter size, I've got to make it a square, and then the top feature there, that um, counterbore, needs to be a square f and flat bottomed counterbore rather than conical as it currently is. So, my plan is I'm going to make use of the mini mill and I'm going to put this on a rotary table and use a small, probably three mil uh, end mill, and then cut this round on the rotary table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the mill all set up for you guys and uh, get this on there and then I'll bring you back once I uh, start uh, the milling operation. Let's get over to the mill, shall we? Right guys, I've got it set up on the rotary table now, nicely clamped down, these are all nice and solid. Mill's all set, centred on the hole. Uh, cross slide is locked, it can't go, as is the... Uh, saddle so it can't go nowhere. The only thing that can turn if I loosen this off is the actual rotary table itself. So first things first, let's get that nice and centralized. So plug the mill in because it tends to run better if it's actually got power. Let's make sure it spins. Which she does. Right. Just going to engage the fine feed. A little bit weird on the MCO to engage the fine feed. You actually have to um, have this little leader thing that rocks up and down with the time it on. It's just up here. This bit. Right. Let's bring her down. Until she touches. Right, I'm going to loosen off the tape off the um, saddle, and I'm going to slowly move her across. I'm going to gradually bring her down. Right, there's the touch off, guys. I'm going to very slowly feed her across. until I get the edge nice and straight. There we go. I'm going to lock the saddle, unlock the rotary table, and ever so slowly start to turn around.
And in theory, that should be a perfectly straight sided hole. So let me grab my blower. I'm going to blow out the air just so I can see. That looks nice. I am just going to go down by a very small amount. around again just to make sure I completely clean up the, uh, the bottom Take it nice and slow. And there we go. Back to zero. Let's have a check. Those sides are lovely and square now. That is fantastic. It's exactly what I was after. Right. Let's retract the bit. All the way, just like that. That makes sure that clears. And then I can... Uh... Well, first of all, actually, let's... Uh... Clean off the ways. Don't want aluminium getting all in the all in the uh, V of the ways. The one problem with it being a uh, a lathe and a mill, it uh, does both. Let's get this out of the way over here, so you can see the hole better now, guys. So as you can see, there you go, nice flat edges on it, which will be perfect now for the uh, bolt that needs to go in there. The other thing I've got left to do now is just uh, those edges there, I've just got a nice burn now from a nice brand new sharp cutter. I just need to tidy those up um, with a file or uh, see if I've got a decent sized um, deburring spinny thing, oh what's it called, countersink, that's the word. Um, yeah, so the final stage for this now is to file that central 6mm hole to be a square rather than a circle. So what I'll do is I'll uh, take this off here, move uh, you, it, uh, over to the uh, vise, get it set up, ready for filing, and uh, I'll see you over there. Right, I've got my uh, needle files here now. They're just uh, some, uh, I think it's Chinese specials. I've had them for years, as you can tell by the grubby packaging. Anyway, I picked out one that should be small enough. I'll give it a measure. And uh, providing this is less than six millimeters, then uh, that should be good. And they are, actually less than five mil. So we are good to go with this particular needle file to make this round hole here a square hole. So let's give it a shot shall we? And before all of you start saying anything I obviously hate files because I'm doing this
I'm obviously uh, hate files because I'm not lifting on the backstroke. But, you know, I'm in a tiny, tiny hole. There's not really much I can do about it. I haven't physically got the room to be able to lift on the backstroke. It's certainly getting there. Let's see. I'm getting a nice flat in that corner. brush off my file, try and keep the uh, teeth clean on it, stop them from getting all uh, gummed up anyway. Right, let's have a seat. Certainly getting flatter. I just hope it's going to be flat enough by the time I'm done. if I can't make this a square hole, then that's going to cause problems. Well, the bottom of the hole is certainly starting to look... It's starting to look more like an archway shape to this thing now. Let me see if I can show you. Right, hopefully as you can see, just brought you in a little closer, hopefully you can see now that this is starting to get more of a flat shape to it, which is what I need to do to all of the sides on this to make it a nice square. Providing I get it then so that the very bottom of this is, it, so it's flat level with the bottom there, the same on all sides, it should in theory be a six millimetre square hole. So. Let me move you back over to where you were so you got a better thing and I think I'll do a time lapse of me uh, filing this to size. Right, there we go, there's a square hole in there now, reasonably centred. Seems to look alright to me. It's fairly square from the back, I think I might just tidy up this top edge a bit. nice and square from the back as well it's pretty nice that as well from the front looks pretty square to me I'm quite happy with that guys that's pretty good that considering this was the operation I was most scared of going wrong uh, I'm just gonna see if I can uh, Break these edges a bit. Sadly, I don't really have a file that is small enough to be able to properly break these edges. I 
however, hopefully just doing this like that does seem to have an effect. This happens to be a diamond file, so it's it's coarse in all directions, pretty much. But that seems fairly, fairly on point. If necessary, if it turns out, if the client, it turns out that this, it doesn't quite fit right, I can always chuck this back up in the mini mill, and then I can enlarge this opening if necessary for it to fit the bolt that goes in there perfectly. Right, so that is that. Let me tidy up, free brokers uh, move the camera about a bit so we can get to see it better. I'll bring you back with the final closing shots. Right, that seems fairly good to me. Give a slow rotation so you can see what you think. Yes, I know there's the remains of the center point in the end there. Yeah. It's a small pimple. Um, the client's seen it. Um, he, he doesn't mind it. So that's fine. It doesn't affect the structural strength of this whatsoever. Um, all the critical dimensions are to size. So this post is exactly the length it needs to be. Um, in fact, this is down to about two one hundredths of a millimeter. The dimensions are. Which I think is a pretty, pretty fine tolerance to have, especially with something that's um, for a toilet seat at the end of the day as well. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Hopefully the client will be happy with that as well. Now all I've got to do is make another one. Exactly like it. Should be fun. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, finally got the part done. Um, I know I had every intention of showing you guys uh, the full turning process, but like I said, um, it was just a simple case of just turning this down, the shoulder that I had got, just down to final dimension here, um, and then just facing this off across here to make sure it was the perfect thickness here as well. Quick chamfer on there, quick chamfer on there. And then put a little, uh, a little uh, rebate in there, just so that um, the locking mechanism of the toilet seat latch that holds it to the toilet will just clip into there properly. Yeah, so uh, that is that, guys. Um, like I said, I have got to make another one of these. Um, what I'll probably do is um, I'll try and get some footage of turning those bits down as well. However. Um, that will probably be posted on my Facebook account, so I'd recommend you guys go and check that out. It's um, you search Facebook and then too many lathes. It's exactly the same on there. Or if you just wanted to direct search for it, it's at too many lathes, all one word, all lowercase. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Catch you next time.